How were you finding out about like how to do all that stuff? Like you watching YouTube videos and stuff? Yeah, well before I before I started getting the laptop, I was literally going to work, school. I mean, I did other shit. I don't want to really say it on camera. Like all my life, I've already been doing a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say everything. Mm -hmm. It was just like I don't, I don't need to spread like shit of negativity or shit I did that's like bad into music. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to really push that narrative. But I, you know, I, this little shit I don't gotta talk about. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> really that guy. yeah. So like um. I, I was so obsessed with it. It's like, it's really what Pharrell said is really like real. When you like obsessed with something, it's like different. You know what I'm saying? I was really, I was looking at, I went, to, I was coming from work and I would come home and like study beats till 12 to 5 a.m. every night. Study beats? Study how to make beats on YouTube. Metro Boomin type beats, which been really good one. And I was inspired by how like Travis, he would do his music and niggas would turn up to like slow shit. It would be so slow. And you see everybody like turning up the skyfall. <laughs> Slow as fuck in Atlanta, like it's a like it's a mosh pit. I mean, like that's how you know this nigga had a different influence. Like it's like really how you feel. Mm -hmm. It don't matter about like uh, the music. It's about how you make you feel. Like how you how you trying to grow as an artist. You know.